What's going on, YouTube? You tapped in with your boy, Big O, watching another episode of UTV, the TV you can feel and see. And just as promised, I'm going to keep y'all up to date with all the FBG Duck slash O Block 5 murder case files as they come, when they come. Some very interesting stuff I got to tell y'all here in today's video. But before we do so, please, y'all. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way in. And don't forget to tell a friend that Big O is back at it again by simply sharing this video on your social media platform. And don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video, y'all. I'm about 180 subscribers away from being monetized. So with the help of y'all, we can get that done with today's video. Now, y'all, as y'all know, Lil Dave spoke in court yesterday. Today, Trench's News testimony, and just to let y'all know, Trench's News pointed them niggas out and everything that the feds put in the paperwork that Trench's News was going to say, he said it. Now, y'all, who's next to speak? FBG Butter, and I'm going to explain that to y'all in today's video. Um, They went to mention FBG Butter slightly. In the Little Dave news article. Y'all didn't catch that, did y'all? If y'all didn't catch them mentioning butter, comment in the comment section below. The words didn't catch it because I'm going to reveal it to y'all. Now, as y'all know, if y'all been rocking with the campaign, man, I've been spot on with all this information. As y'all know, like I told y'all, Trench's News was in witness protection. Um, Trench's News was paid and all that for it. Everybody said I was hating on them. Everybody was saying uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Y'all wasn't saying I was hating on Butter. Y'all was quick to throw Butter under the bus. But when it came to Trench's News, y'all was standing up behind that nigga. But Trench's News today has had his testimony. But I want y'all to check this out. And like I told y'all, Trench's News is going to get up there and say exactly what the Fed said he was going to say. Because he ain't got no choice, y'all. He ain't got no choice but to listen to him. But let me show y'all this real quick. I got to move this to the side. Like I said before, man, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm about 180 subscribers away. But as y'all can see, this is the paperwork. Um, I read y'all yesterday's paperwork. We ain't got nothing new here today just yet. We will be getting it here any hour now. But check this out, y'all. Everybody done seen this article already on Police Lil Dave. We didn't know who Cooperator Number 2 was, but it's Lil Dave, y'all. Um, it's all out there, but a lot of people didn't catch this, though. A lot of people didn't catch this. See, Cooperator Trenches News and Lil Dave testimony is to prove that O-Block is engaged in racketeering and is an un enterprise, like I was explaining to y'all. Lil Dave is... And Trench's news testimony ain't so much about the murder of Duck. Their testimony holds weight on pitting the Rico on these niggas. Their testimony holds weight for going to get niggas like Boss Top, going to get niggas like BJ. Um, Lil Dave mentioned them names yesterday in his testimony. Today, Trench's news mentioned those same names, saying those are the leaders of O Block here today. So if the Rico does get past, they going to go snatch up BJ. BJ and boss top but check this out though y'all this right here um you understand not so much as that i want to say it was this one sloan faces up to 30 years in prison in the pending case in cook county but isn't being offered leniency unlike another gang tied informant now just to let y'all know the only other gang tied informant that is currently has a case that is a serious one far as the time go and that is fbg butter raekwam Requam, rakeem wilton sorry about that y'all probably don't know this but butter currently is facing a 6 to 30 y'all a armed habitual which he caught last year in March, and just to let, April, I mean, he caught it last year in April 2022, and just to let y'all know, uh, he facing 6 to 30 years on a harmed habitual case, and anybody in Cook County get a armed habitual, which means it's his third pipe case, you never getting that 6. I've never seen somebody get a 6 on an armed habitual, y'all, 
But Butter is currently facing an arm habitual. Just to let y'all know, Ra Raheem Wilton, 4-29-2022. Check this out. Y'all remember the, this hoodie from those interviews, right? The man is facing a armed habitual, his third pipe case, 6-30. to 30. And when they went to go in and say Sloan faces up to 30 years in prison in a pending Cook County case, but isn't being offered leniency, unlike another gang tied informant. If y'all do y'all research and homework on this, it's no other so-called informant on this case that is currently facing any charges. But butter, y'all. And Butter is the next one to speak. Just to let y'all know, Butter testimony will be heard here next week. Trenches News basically cold closed the case on the Rico for these guys. So um, if the Rico does get passed, like I said before, thanks to Lil Dave and Trenches News, they will be snatching up Boss Top Next, BG, and everybody else that they stated that is... Um, in the leadership of Old Block, Lil Dave and Trenches News made these statements. Now, to next week, what Butter will be speaking about is the history between STL and Old Block. Butter is going to talk about how Kyra killed OD. That's what he's going to start off with. And the reason why that is so important, because when OD Perry died, that is when O Block was formed. Yeah, they was always called the Park, or you could call them the Wick, shit like that. But O D O Block, the name O Block was formed the day that O D died. So that starts the beginning of O Block, and then Butter is going to speak about how King Von killed Kyra. That is what he's going to speak about next. Because he was a witness in that. Now, just to let y'all know, Butter currently has a proffer agreement with the, with the Fed. And that's with the OD situation. When Kyra went to go kill OD, just to let y'all know, Butter was with her. And they was op shopping. And when and if you going along with somebody, even if you're not the trigger man, and y'all plan is to harm somebody and it actually happens, you is just as accountable just as the trigger man. We seen it happen with Keefe D, y'all. All right, so that's the information he gave the Fed. And the only way he could give the Fed that without getting arrested is a proffer agreement, which he gave them. And that's the OD situation. Y'all like, oh, how you know this, man? I know, bruh. I know. Check me out, though. Uh, So the proffer agreement. And then when he go speak about how Vaughn killed Kyra, he was a eyewitness in that because he got shot as well. So it holds weight. And just to let you all know, Butter received ten thousand dollars. I'm going to say it again. Nobody don't know this. Butter also received information for his. He also received money for his information. He got 10K just off of telling on Vine. Telling them people that Vine, the one that shot her, he received $10,000 just for that information. Now it's all starting to come out that these people is being paid. Something that I've been telling y'all about. Watch the exact number come. 10000 on Kyra, bro. The reason why I know that is because they had a $10,000 reward for the solving of Kyra's murder, y'all. That reward hasn't changed. That reward has been standing. And if Butter gave that information, Butter received that money. Where y'all think them Butter Bucks came from out of nowhere? Now, listen, y'all. Again, Butter has been offered leniency on his 6 to 30. Didn't he just say not too long ago he beat his case? Butter did not beat this, bro. You're not beating a armed habitual. What happens is, say that the case may be weak. This ain't my first rodeo, y'all. Y'all can look up my rap sheet. Say that the case is weak. You know what the state gonna come and do? Well, look, we gonna slap the arm. We gonna take the arm habitual off. And we're just gonna give you a aggravated, unlawful use of weapon. All right, we just gonna slap you with a class two. Give you. We gonna slap you with a class two and give you three at 50. Or give you four at 50. That's if the class, that's if the armed habitual case is weak. They not throwing no, sh they not throwing no shit out. 
All right, this, this is how they do it, y'all. If the case is weak, like he's going to try to say he beat his case, which he didn't, they would have offered this man a class two aggravated unlawful use of a weapon. We all know this, butter. I hope you watching. Anybody from Cook County know anybody that went to Cook County or been in that system. No, I ain't lying. And they like, damn, this nigga do know his shit. Nigga, they gonna drop that to a aunt. They gonna drop that to a class two felony, bro. They're not going to drop your whole nigga. You a sick? Come on now. That's why their uh conviction rate is so high. Is because once we get close towards trial, they always drop the case. Damn near have you to where like you got six months in the joint left, time served type shit. You see what I'm saying? That's how they play it. You see what I'm saying? Say you get to catch a murder, and this how they do it too. Say you catch a murder, womb class. So that's a class M. You know what I'm saying? Uh, case week, bam, a week before trial. Now they got, now they got on tight table. Uh, second degree murder, ten years. You done been in that bitch for five. Now it's looking like you got eight months in the joint to do, and you will be back on the street. They got a conviction, and that's how their conviction rate is so high in Cook County, y'all. That's how they play it. And this nigga trying to tell y'all. He beat his case. And the news just went to say, come on now. Sloan faces up to 30 years in prison is pending a Cook County, but isn't being offered leniency unlike another gang tied informant. Now, it's about to come out next week. They're going to say it. Just how they said Sloan got that um, 24000 They're going to explain what was Butter, Butter's motive in telling. They're going to talk about his case. They're going to say he was giving leniency on his case. Also, they're going to talk about the reward money for solving Kyra's murder. And ain't no telling what information. Now, matter of fact, him actually going to talk about the OD situation, Kyra killing OD. Now, he may have been offered money for that because the Vine shit got him leniency. Now, him going back saying, oh, Kyra killed OD, that didn't get him no leniency, y'all. That got him paid. And we about to fit in. They're going to tell us exact numbers here next week. So, again, y'all, Trenches News closed the case. He, he closed the case on a Rico here today. Lil Dave gave him the alley-oop. Trenches News, two-hand that bitch. Now, Butter is up at bat. And it seemed like this nigga swinging for the fences as well. Uh, none of they, none of they identification testimonies of Muwap Num is really gonna hold no weight. You know what I'm saying? That's just filler. These three guys' job, Butter's job, is to lay down the groundwork far as the history between the two gangs and the war that went on between the two. And that's speaking about how OD died, which formed O Block, and the initiation of the retaliation from the OD death, which caused Kyra to lose her life and Butter lose a kneecap. Um, Trenches News and Lil Dave, they role in this wasn't to identify Muwap Nim. They role in this was to tell the jury and the judge and explain to them their inner workings in the gang and what they actually did and the roles that they played, which proves to the jury that O Block isn't a family. It is, in fact, a enterprise. And the activities that Lil Dave and your boy Trenches News was engaged in was racketeering activity, which fits the bill of a Rico. And since these two niggas actually told them on the docket, this is actually on file, y'all. The leadership within O Block, talking about who leads O Block now, if the Rico does stick, they win. And this is a superseding indictment. If y'all look at the word superseding indictment, let me show y'all this really quickly. Superseding. I wish I can see the indictment. There we go. As you can see here, it's a document that amends and replaces the original indictment, listing a formal charges against a defendant. A grand jury typically approves a superseding indictment after additional information, which is Lil Dave talking about the leadership and uh, Trenches News talking about the leadership. Additionally, information or evidence has been obtained. The new 
document usually adds charges or defendants to the case. Again, the information told across the docket here yesterday through Lil Dave and today through Trenches News is going to cause usually charges being added or defendants to the case, which is Boss Top, BJ, they already got Muwap um, locked up, King Von Gone, and I forgot the other person name they put in there. But just to let you all know, again, the superseding indictment is going to lead to them picking up Boss Top and BJ. Just to let you all know that as well. Uh, so with that being said, like I told you all, man, one and one together equals two. So when Butter go on these interviews and try to say he just beat his case, nigga, you not beat no arm pubitual. They're going to come with a AUW or a UUW, man. Unlawful use of a weapon. Anybody ain't going to hit you with aggravated. You know aggravated come with 85%, right? And, see, I know my shit, y'all. I know my law and all. Well, we in Illinois, so I know how they get down. It ain't my first rodeo. I done been in a lot of trials for homies. You know what I'm saying? And I see how it plays out. So with that saying... I know what's going on. I know what's being offered. I know what he was facing. And when he went on not too long ago and said he just beat his case, it dawned on me. Ding. So I just wanted some more information to come out before I actually put this video out in front of y'all. And with the news actually saying this, this was the icing on the cake for me. Unlike, um, but he isn't being offered leniency, unlike another gang-tied informant. Only gang tied informants is Little Dave, Trenches News, Butter, and that's it. TZ Baby Mama, the old security guard. Those the only. It's only five informants, y'all. TZ Baby Mama, the old security guard, is not a gang tied informant. The only people that's in this case that's tied in the gang that ain't arrested on the actual case. And that's Lil Dave, Trenches News, and FBG Butter. They already done told us Lil Dave name in Trenches News. Come on, man. One and one equals two, y'all. That's FBG Butter. Butter got offered leniency on his armed habitual. So, Butter, if you watching this, man, I know you hate me because I be putting your shit out there. But it is what it is, man. Like I said before, Butter Speaks next week, and it's going to be interesting what he has to say on that stand. So with that being said, man, if y'all rocking with the campaign, don't forget to smash that like button, and I'm gone.